السلام عليكم Good evening Good evening everyone عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته Good evening How are you Mustafa? How are you everyone? الحمد لله رب العالمين I am fine الحمد لله So we have today some students are supposed to present. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Inshallah. Yes, Fatima. So uh, can you can you share the screen or I will do that? Uh Are you share uh, you share inshallah. I I will share the screen. Yes, yes. Okay, so <laughs> did you send me the file? Yes, yes. Can you please just send me something? Fatima? Yes. Fatima, what's your topic about? What's your topic about, Fatima? A mobile phone. Okay, mobile phone. So, are you ready to start? Uh, yes, yes, I'm ready. Inshallah. Okay, I will share the screen. Is it clear, Fatima? Ah, yes. Thank you. I, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, please. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome, everybody. I will explain uh, my uh, presentation and uh, its uh, topic, mobile phones. Uh, it contains, uh, contains, uh, uh, introduction and sisters life before mobile phones advantages of using a mobile phones uh, uh, disadvantages uh, of mobile phones phone uh, statistics on mobile phone phones uh, the future vision uh, for mobile uh, phone conclusion uh, conclusion uh, introduction uh, welcome to mobile. Uh, welcome to my presentation on life uh, transformations uh, with uh, the mobile phone. Revelation, uh, revelation. I will explore how our ancestors' life lived before the advent of this uh, incredible uh, device and how their uh, presence has sh uh, has shaped life as a whole. Uh, uh, as technology has become a part uh, of uh, our daily lives. Uh, the mobile phone accompanies uh, us uh, throughout our days. Uh, ancestors' life before mobile phone. Uh, in ancient time, times, uh, communication uh, really uh, primarily, uh, primarily on uh, postal letters and face-to-face -face meetings. Uh, contact through mail uh, could, uh, could take days or even weeks. And people depended, depended uh, our direct interaction for communication. Uh, we think that our ancestors were so, uh, suffering, suffering uh, from the lack of a phone, but it is uh, normal for uh, them. Their lives were simple and they did, uh, didn't care about such technological things. Uh, can uh, Who can uh, tell, uh, tell me some advantages of mobile phone? Yes, Mrs. Yes, uh, yes. Advantages of mobile phones include uh, easy communication, 
quick access to information, uh, navigation assistance, and entertainment uh, on the go or, or on the travel. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, Instant uh, communication, uh, global stat uh, statistics uh, show that uh, video calls uh, via mobile phones are used uh, daily by over 60% uh, of users. Uh, rise rise uh, uh, in a uh, commerce, commerce, commerce of one, uh, a 40% uh, percent increase uh, in increase in online online board uh, board uh, board seize, board seize uh, via mobile phones over the past five years positive positive impact uh, on education a global report in uh, indexes that around 80 percent of students use the mobile phones for uh, re uh, res uh, research and learning. Uh, and in addition, in addition, the modern mobile phone has helped to search uh, for addresses uh, and places, places uh, such as uh, homes uh, and the shops. Uh, to uh, plot, uh, uh, plot us, uh, which uh, which played an important role in uh, transferring information and fields uh, without on and without an in internet uh, con uh, connection. There are too much advant advantages. Uh, now, uh, uh, disadvantages of mobile phone. Uh, previous uh, uh, revise privacy uh, privacy concerns according uh, according uh, to uh, statistical uh, reports over 70 percent of mobile phones users express concerns uh, concerns about the privacy uh, laws technological addiction addiction and uh, Approximately 40% of the global mobile phone users uh, consider uh, them, uh, them, uh, themselves as, uh, ad uh, addicted as their recent uh, as test, uh, statistics. Uh, increase in Greece. increase in addiction a uh, uh, report from the World Health uh, Organization uh, indexes as uh, that about 25% of uh, accidents uh, accidents are li uh, linked to uh, I uh, IRS, uh, IRS possible mobile phones use uh, another this uh, this uh, this advantage uh, of uh, the mobile phone is that it leads to a lose lose of social uh, communication skills, uh, causing uh, some health uh, bro uh, bro problems if addiction. Easy of uh, anyone anyone uh, others and uh, abusing uh, them uh, electronic uh, 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 statistics. The number of mobile phone users worldwide ex uh, exceeds uh, uh, 5 billion. Now the future vision for mobile phone. Uh, how will the uh, how will how will uh, the uh, uh, cell phones be in the future? Yes, Mrs. Yes. Uh, 
area. Predicting, predicting the future of cell phones involves expectations of more advanced technology. Technology improves improved features, possibly uh, foldable designs, and increased uh, integration with other smart devices. Yes, thank you. Uh, the future vision for mobile phone. Uh, 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 in the future, mobile phones uh, in our lives are expected to become like our uh, scientists and, uh, and industri uh, industry expect that in the coming years, uh, mobile phones will become remote control uh, device that may manage uh, var uh, various aspects of our lives. Leaves up. Uh, now, conclusion. Uh, in, uh, in, in conclusion uh, of our journey, we all uh, rec uh, recognize uh, the, um, uh, the importance of mobile phones, uh, technology, uh, technology can metext, metext, uh, the negatives and and uh, enhance uh, the positive. Uh, so let's work together uh, to uh, achieve uh, a healthy uh, balance and uh, use uh, this tool uh, to improve our quality of life and the promote uh, uh, progress uh, uh, the most uh, uh, the user user must uh, be careful to uh, obtain the uh, maximum uh, ben uh, benefits uh, from the phone and uh, be careful uh, to avoid harm thank you for listening to my presentation Thank you so much, Fatma. That was really brief and uh, interesting presentation. But I have some comments on the uh, pronunciation. Uh, you need to um, to keep an eye on your pronunciation. Some words you need uh, in the future before you present. Okay, you need to check the pronunciation in the dictionary. For example, this is this word is mitigate, mitigate. Okay, this word, for example, it's not journey, it's journey. E, it's journey. Okay, and uh, we have some, for example, some words like statistics. Okay, or statistical. Um, for example, indicates. Okay, uh, there are some. some concerns about uh, the pronunciation, but in general, you did well. Thank you so much. Okay, ho so who's next to present today? Yes, Mrs. Yes, Riyad. Are you yes. ready to present Riyad? Yes, inshallah. Okay, so uh, are, are you going to to share the screen on your device? Yes, I will uh, share the screen, please. Okay, so I will make you the host, and once you finish, you will make me back, okay? Yes. Okay, you are host now.
It's clear, Mrs. Yeah, for me, it's clear. My friends. Yes, yes, it's clear. Yes, hello everyone and good evening. Uh, when we study uh, the English language, uh, we are not uh, satisfied uh, with the university. The university doesn't provide everything. We must also look at, uh, there are, for, for example, there are many abbreviations in English terms and differences between American and British pronunciation. Today we talk about the 10 most common idiom in English. <clears throat> I'm so sorry because I have a frog in my throat, my friends. What does expression, this expression means? I have a frog in my throat. It doesn't mean that the frog is in my throat. Uh, it means that I have uh, a little illness in my throat or in my voice. So for every uh, expression or every idioms, we have two meanings, literal meaning and uh, figurative meaning. Figurative mean, uh, means uh, majazi. We have figurative meaning and literal meaning for every uh, expression uh, we use. Uh, but uh, we must be attention about uh, this expression is not formal. Uh, in writing, we must use these idioms because it is, uh, it is informal. Uh, We have three benefits from learning this expression. Uh, number one, understanding idiom meanings, practical application uh, of uh, idioms, and enhanced language analysis. Before we start, we must know what the idiom is mean. Uh, an idiom is a phrase or expression that usually present, presents a figurative, a figurative non-literal meaning Attached, attached to the phrase. Let's dive into the catchy and uh, fun phrases. We have number one, expression number one, break the ice. Break the ice to start a conversation with someone you don't know very well. For example, I, I tried to break the ice by talking about the weather. This expression is now uh, is known even in Arabic language. Uh, when, we meet, when we meet people for the first time, uh, we break the ice between us, like guests, students, the audience, and we doesn't allow uh, silence to stay between us. Sometimes we break the ice by talking about a general topic, and sometimes a joke or even a question. I want to ask you, especially most of you are teachers, how do you break the ice with your students? Yes, yes, Mr. Yes, Mustafa. I work uh, as a teacher in, uh, in my village, and uh, on my first day of school, I played with uh, the students. I played with them uh, a game. Yes. Uh, to break to break the ice and help the, the student to feel better. Yes, Th thank you so much, Mustafa. You are a great teacher. Let's move another uh, idiom, my colleagues. Burn the midnight the midnight oil. Who can explain this idiom, or uh, this idiom? Sorry. This, this idiom means uh, to work 
late into the night. Uh, for example, I had to burn the, the midnight oil to finish my project. It means that I, I am very tired because I stayed up all, all night. Do you remember uh, the days of exams? How many times have we stayed up late during exams? Here we use the figurative meaning that I am tired or uh, or I am uh, I am I am need to sleep. Let's move to this expression, piece of cake. Piece of cake means something that is very easy to do. For example, the test was a piece of cake. When we perform an, uh, an easy job or test, we say it is like it is like a piece of cake. When you tell me, for example, that your test or your work was a piece of cake, I realize that uh, your work or your or, or test was easy. Cost an arm and a leg. To be very expensive. For example, a new car cost an arm and a leg these days. We use this expression where, where when the products we want to buy are expensive. When we learn this expression, our understanding of language deepens and we are able to express more. Who puts this expression in a sentence, please? Yes, yes, Mr. Yes, Mustafa. Uh, the car uh, was very, very nice, but it uh, was, but it was cost it cost an arm and a leg. That's correct? Yes. yes, correct. Very good, Mustafa. Thank you. Let's move another one. Hit the hay. Hit the hay means to go to bed. For example, I, I am tired. I think I will hit the hay. Sleep is important to us but don't stay asleep for a long time. You have to work and train a lot because you are learning the English language. Under the weather. Under the weather, the figurative mean, meaning for this expression is to be feeling unwell. For example, I'm not feeling well, I am under the weather. This expression has a small story that my teacher used in one of the lectures. And uh, while I am wondering about its meaning, she explained to us and said, it is important for you to speak with such expressions. In the next lecture, I asked her about her health condition in, by this expression and preserved more than 10 expressions she is an inspiring teacher. Break a leg. Break a leg, it is very easy uh, to understand this, uh, me, uh, the meaning of this expression. Uh, it means a good luck wish for someone who is about to bear firm. For example, Good luck on your presentation. Break a leg. Imagine that you have a match and your friend enters the field before the match and tells you to, uh, to break a leg. You must understand the figurative meaning of this expression. That means a good luck. In a nutshell, in a nutshell, to summarize, summarize something in a few words. For example, in nutshell, in a nutshell, 
the meeting was a success. A success. We use this, this expression when we only want to talk about the important points for any topic. It means briefly. Speak and spare. It means very clean or tidy. For example, the house was speck and span after the maid had cleaned, cleaned it. When we ask my wife if the guest room is clean, she quickly answered, yeah, it is speck and speck and Spain. Uh, if I have a deep understanding of English expression, I will reala realize the room is clean and tidy. Spell the beans. Spell the beans to, re to reveal the secret. For example, I can't spin, uh, spill the beans. It is a secret. This expression you, uh, is used when we sec secret or sudden is disappeared or becomes known to everyone. I hope this presentation in, in conclusion, uh, I hope this presentation gives you a better understanding of this idiom and how they can enrich your language skills and daily conversation. Uh, at the, in the end, thank you for your participation with me, uh, my friend, and I thank the teachers Bara and Tabi, the teacher Bara and Tabi, uh, for supporting us and for providing everything that improves our level. Okay, thank you so much, Rias. That was really wonderful. Thank you. thank you so much because your presentation makes a lot of sense and um, it is authentic and interesting at the same time. I enjoyed a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mrs. So it's uh, very important to learn a lot of idioms because it helps you in your uh, daily conversation. And it is very important to know a lot of idioms in order to get uh, like uh, people who are talking to you uh, because uh, they are used in daily life Okay, these idioms are used in daily life. So it's important to like um, to, to have it or to, to get it, uh, for example, in, in examples, in authentic examples, in the context, to know how to use them in a suitable context. Okay, so please read about them and you should know the most common ones. Thank you, Rias. That was really wonderful. Okay. So, who's next? Who are going to present? I'm ready. Zainab Haj Ibrahim. Zainab. Uh, are we able to present or to share the screen? No, share it yourself. Okay. Spend up the time. Okay, so uh, I think we have just seven minutes left. So um, you need to leave now and rejoin uh, using the same link, okay? Okay. Okay, Rias, can you please end the lecture because you are host now? And rejoin using the same link, okay? Uh, Rias, can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Zisa. Okay, yes. just uh, can you make me the host again?
تمام يا سي هيك انتهى الموفي Okay, thank you. So, uh, everyone, you can uh, leave now and uh, rejoin, please. Okay, hello again. Um, so, Zainab, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Good evening, uh, everybody. How are you? Uh, are you ready? Let's start our presentation. Okay, Zainab, thank you. Uh, can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. The teacher healthy food. Zainab, we can't hear you. Can you hear Zainab? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Move on. Okay, so can you start, please? Yeah. Okay. The teacher, healthy food. Healthy food, foods we eat, provide the raw materials and energy for the movement of the system in the body is very complex, growth, repair, and regeneration of cow at any time. We need to eat nutritious food. This is healthy food. Types of healthy food. Number one, fruit and vegetables. Number two, meat, fish, and alternative. alternative. Number three, uh, bread, or the cereals and potatoes number four milk and dairy foods dairy foods and number five food contain uh, contain uh, contain containing facts and food containing sugar move on Please. Thank you. For example, uh, healthy food, fruit. Fruit is wonderful for a well bunch of reason. For one thing, fruit is good because it is full of vitamins. Also, it uh, in encourages weight loss because it is full of fiber. Fruit has high water content and water is necessary for good health. Um, who give uh, example of healthy food, please? Yes. Yes, welcome. Yes, please. Healthy food uh, include uh, grains, nuts, lean proteins, yes. in addition yes. to the vegetables and the fruit. That's right. Thank you. Very good. Uh, vegetables is 
optimal in, in uh, to include vegetables in your eating habits because vegetables have fiber, water, and nut uh, nutrient nutrients. It's uh, a uh, it's easy to the com uh, campaign vegetables into a variety of soup, salad, and uh, casseroles, casseroles. Buy vegetables uh, at the local farmers market in or move on, please. The next. Legumes, uh, legumes are both pot uh, and seed developed uh, planets. Some examples include lentil, beans, uh, as well as we else, uh, black, black eyed peas. Uh, these are good is soups and eaten as uh, side dishes. They contain a uh, protein as well uh, as well as as well as as well as a uh, paper and uh, paper and uh, they are very filling to it. Uh, types mm. uh, fish fish is one of the best protein uh, Said uh, source source uh, the smaller smaller uh, fish are uh, generally safer than the larger fish, but in uh, consumers uh, consumers still need to check. Uh, fish is rich uh, rich. Excuse me. Uh, fish is uh, rich in the pro uh, in protein and omega three oils. Uh, these oils are uh, food for skin and hair, uh, and good for the brain as well. Uh, moving on. Uh, meat meat contains uh, a large amount of protein uh, to the repair repair uh, and building of the body tish, uh, tissues uh, strength uh, strength the immune system contains the essential am amino Acid, uh, it is uh, rich in iron, zinc, vitamin A, P, and D, vitamins, uh, promotes good vision, uh, vision. Stranger, question, uh, what do fruits provide us? Who can answer? Again, what do fruits provide provide us? Who can answer? Yes, yes, Mrs. Yes, yes, please. I think fruits provide uh, vitamins uh, and uh, yeah. minerals, uh, fiber, and uh, and to antioxidants. Yeah. Very good. That's right. Thank you. Um, this type bread. Uh, bread contains healthy, complex uh, uh, carbohydrates, carbohydrates uh, that are an energy source uh, for us. They also contain P group uh, vitamins 
necessary for the work of uh, of nerve of nerve cells uh, as well as uh, folic acid, zinc, magnesium, uh, calcium, some proteins, and importantly, fiber. Move on, please. Uh, question, uh, please, uh, give an example on unhealthy food. Who can answer? It's very, very, very easy. Again, give an example of unhealthy food. Yes, Mrs. Yes. Yeah. Yes, please. Unhe unhealthy foods include meals that uh, contain a high percentage percentage of uh, of fats and add the uh, added sug uh, sugars, and uh, this food include uh, include white bread, sweets, uh, soft drinks, uh, alcohol, for mm -hmm. example. Uh, it's harm, very harm. Yeah, thank you. Very good. Uh, conclusion. Nutrients uh, in food are the essential uh, in, uh, ingredients for you live uh, the bro uh, powerful ingredients uh, found, found uh, in all fresh foods help keep all of your by uh, bodily uh, function operating uh, properly properly so you can keep your body looking great serious thank you for listening for listening can you have you have uh, any question No, okay. thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And you. Okay, thank you so much, Zainab. That was a very good uh, topic. Uh, you did fairly well, but you need to keep an eye on your pronunciation, okay? You need to check uh, the uh, pronunciation of some words okay um to to be more confident while you are presenting but thank you so much and you mrs thank you okay so I think for today, um, Fatima, Zainab, Riyas, they all presented today, but uh, we still have Fadia from the previous lesson, right? Is it right, Fadia? Are you ready? Right, Mrs. I'm uh, ready. Okay, so shall I share the screen? Uh, can you share it? Okay, yes. Just one minute. Okay.
Okay, Fadia, I'm I'm trying to share it. Um, I just want to ask you a question for all of you. Um, what do you think if you send all of you, uh, your your um your files, your PowerPoint files, uh, to the group in order to get benefit, um, by your colleagues? What do you think? Repeat, repeat, please, uh, Mrs. Okay, I'm asking you about your opinion uh, to send your PowerPoint files, the presentation that you already presented, uh, to send it, um, and instead of sending it privately on my number, I'm asking you to, to uh, send it to the group in order to, uh, like, to share the benefit among your colleagues, what do you think? That's the right idea, yes. Okay. I am ready. Okay. So please, after the lecture, you can send your PowerPoint files to the group, all of you, yeah. all the students who uh, already presented. Inshallah. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, it's clear. Okay, so can you can you please start, Fadia? Okay, uh, the topic is, uh, is about smoking. Uh, introduction. Next, it's clear. Okay. Uh, smoking is a highly addictive uh, habit that can cause significant health problems. Uh, it is uh, the leading cause of preventable death in the world. It causes the death of millions of people every year. Uh, next page, please. Okay, what is this smoking? How now? Yes, Mrs. Uh, yes, Mr. Smoking uh, is the process of uh, inhaling smoke, uh, resulting from uh, burning uh, a planet uh, which me uh, which named called uh, tobacco, tobacco, tobacco. Yes. Tobacco, sir. Right. Okay. Uh, smoking is uh... sorry. Smoking uh, is. The act of uh, inhaling that smoke uh, produced by pouring uh, tobacco. What is tobacco? Tobacco is a plant that uh, contains uh, nicotine, a highly addictive drug. Uh, next page, please. Uh, okay, uh, what are the dangers of smoking? How now? Yes, Mrs. Uh, yes, Mr. Smoking leads uh, to various health problems such as uh, lung cancer, uh, heart disease, and uh, respiratory respiratory problems. Yes, exactly. Uh, smoking can damage uh, almost every organ in the body. Smoking of uh, the almost serious uh, health risk uh, associated with uh, smoking include. Uh, heart disease and uh, cancer. Next page, please. Uh, heart disease, uh, smoking increases the risk of uh, heart attack, stro uh, stroke, and uh, other heart problems. Next page. Uh, cancer, uh, smoking is uh, the leading uh, cause of uh, lung cancer, but it also increases uh, Increases the risk uh, of developing cancer of the mouth, uh, throat, uh, pancreas, and stomach. And next 
Mix it with Mrs. please. Okay, uh, quit smoking. Um, medication. There are several medications that can help smokers uh, quite, including uh, nicotine uh, replacement uh, therapy and uh, support groups. Support groups uh, uh, can provide uh, uh, in group means uh, and uh, support from other smokers who are trying to quit. Uh, next page, please. Uh, okay, recommendation. Uh, increases uh, public uh, awareness uh, about the dangers of the smoking. Uh, and uh, provide support for smokers who want to quit. And uh, enact laws uh, to uh, restrict smoking, uh, such as cleaning uh, smoking in public places. Uh, OK, how has uh, another advice? Yes, Mrs. Nobody. Uh, yes, Mister. Uh, quitting smoking very, very, uh, very hard for me, especially for me, uh, because the quitting smoking requires uh, a strong will and support from uh, the friends and family. In addition to, in my opinion, using uh, a specialist med medical treatments. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, conclusion. Uh, smoking is uh, a serious health risk that can have uh, uh, a devastating uh, impact on individual and uh, families. Uh, everyone should be aware of the dangers of the smoking and should uh, encourage, encourage uh, smokers to quit smoking. Uh, thank you for listening. Okay, thank you so much, Fadia. Um, that was good, thank you. Okay, thank you for all of you. I think we finished uh, concerning the presentation, right? Do we still have anyone? Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for, for all um, of your efforts and your presentation. I enjoyed a lot of your presentation today. Thank you. Uh, don't forget, please, to send to the group your uh, PowerPoint file, uh, your PowerPoint files in order to share the benefits among us, inshallah. That's all for today. Uh, take care and see you, inshallah, next lecture. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Barra. Thank you so much.